Welcome back everyone to episode 2 of Rodney's Adventure. It is currently very early in the morning, but we've got a nice early start to the day, and we're heading to a little town down by the river that I've actually never been to before. It's a town called Riverside, and no, that's, that's not a joke, that's the actual name, it is very fitting. We did pick up on some radio frequencies from possibly survivors, it was pretty scrambled, but uh, the word Riverside did come into play, so that's where we're heading today. Well, look, it may be the end of the world, but these council workers are more active than I've ever seen them be, so props to them. Good news is that there is a sledgehammer there on the ground, so I'm going to go back and pick that up, because I believe that is quite rare. Well, we've finally made it after uh, quite a bit of driving. There's actually a gated community at the sort of southeastern side of the, uh, the entire town, so... I'm going to check that out. I've parked my RV here in someone's driveway. I hope they're, uh, they're not too unhappy about it. Rodney copped a bit of a laceration across the chest uh, when hopping out of the RV. Got stormed by uh, one or two zombies that uh, we didn't really see, unfortunately. So we've taken care of that. We've put some rubbing alcohol on it. Hopefully it stays all good. Aside from the ones that got Rodney on the chest on the way in, there doesn't appear to be a whole lot of undead, at least in this gated community. So we're going to spend this time here to do a fair bit of looting while we have the chance because down the road it's not going to be so easy. What is the plan for today you ask? Well, aside from checking out this new town, I do plan on doing some new crafting. I haven't actually got a whole lot into the crafting of this game so far. So uh, I'm using Rodney as a segue to, to get me into that. I'm going to try crafting up a, a little camping setup. I'm going to get a tent and a campfire going. I'm going to start off simple. Uh, I need to get a few different supplies for that, but uh, but that's where we're going with things. There was a point when uh, Rodney was looting for food and water, trying to get his thirst quenched and his hunger satisfied, that an alarm went off at the building next door. This wasn't unusual, because a zombie breaking a window could set these sorts of things off, but just strange nonetheless. Now, if one was inclined to settle down in this town, it would actually be a really good contender because there is a very small population of people here. There is a strong variety of different loot spawns here. And we're right next to the river, so there can be a lot of great fishing done with minimal effort. The only downfall of this town is that there is a lack of firearms around. It looks like the best way to get firearms here are to go through the individual houses and hope that the residents or the owners of the houses actually stored weapons there. Okay. Do you mind if I come in, madam? Thank you. For those of you who may be worried about the lack of modifications being done to Rodney's RV, don't stress. He is going to work on it. He's been a busy man but it is coming in good time. Now, I will try and get a list of all the mods I've added, but one is the Britta's weapon mods. Now, this adds a whole bunch of custom weapons in the game, which I think is really cool, and definitely a much necessary improvement. And I've actually picked up this tactical axe, if you can see it in my hand here. Uh, picked it up just from a, a random, you know, random piece of a house. It was nothing special. But I find that this mod adds a whole another dynamic to the game, which is definitely missing from the actual game itself. So... I'll try and add a list of my mods uh, in the description if you are interested, um, but hopefully we'll find more cool little items like this along the way. Well, first it was the house alarms, and now there's a whole bunch of dead zombies that I haven't even killed, and I haven't even been over this way yet. There is definitely some other people here. I need to be careful because I'm not sure if they're going to be hostile or friendly. I'm just going to keep it low key and get back to my RV when I can and keep moving. They could already be watching my every movement, so we've got to play this very carefully. Well, I got a fair few houses looted until I started to get a little suspicious of the area I was in. So I've decided to make my way further into the town itself and just investigate and see what's going on. Well, I've done some reconnaissance around the town and ended up going up toward the police station, but it was pretty infested with the undead. So I've headed back towards the center of town. There is a hardware store here that I would like to loot, but first we have to clear the area, otherwise we're going to get stuck and get eaten.
Well, if that didn't confirm this is a low population town, then I don't know what will. I'm in the center of town and I've been driving around in the RV. And that's pretty much all the zombies that came for me. It's, it's relatively quiet around here, so definitely recommended for uh, some of you newbies or if you're starting off and want to find a, uh, a place to sort of loot and stay, it's this is definitely a recommended town for myself. Also, if you were worried about the uh, the weapon mods and whatnot, uh, they don't seem OP at all. This, this works like a normal axe, um, takes, you know, quite a few swings to kill anything. It's not like one hits or anything like that, so... Uh, just enjoy it, just enjoy it. The variety is is what keeps it good. It's um it's very refreshing. Even though I've only used one axe, it's it's great. I love it. I will stick to it. Well I managed to get through it all successfully and loot everything that I could. However, the one thing I do need, which is a tarp, which will complete our tent, was not in the vicinity. So I'm heading outside of the town to find some factories that I can loot and hopefully find myself a tarp and a few other camping supplies. Here's a great little feature with the whole RV and going inside mod. You actually cannot go inside if zombies are currently locked onto you or in the vicinity, which I find is really good because that helps with uh, it being too OP. Originally, I was a little worried at like abusing the whole system of going inside the actual room of the RV. But after finding out about this little restriction, it's actually made me feel a whole lot better about using this system. And I just found that very cool, so I thought I'd share. One thing is for certain, if you want building supplies and construction tools, these factories have absolutely everything you need and more. There is so many items here I didn't know what to do with. Now, Rodney is usually pretty good, but uh, it doesn't matter how good you are, everyone at some point lets their guard down, and, uh, well, when you do, you can get yourself into some awkward situations. Especially if your character starts running in a random direction, you can easily get yourself killed. Always a good reminder that, even though a building may sound empty, there's always going to be something lurking in the dark. I suppose one of the greatest moments of Rodney's day came when, uh, after he had looted hundreds and hundreds of wooden crates amongst endless factory rooms that were boxed to the roof. It was only until he reached a small room at the back of a warehouse where there was two shelves and we finally, finally managed to find a tarp. Well, the axe we found earlier wasn't just used for killing zombies, we were also going to use it to chop our firewood and make up some stakes for our tent pegs. One tarp, four wooden stakes, and two sturdy sticks. We can finally make a tent kit, and we can actually now survive outside, which is awesome. Let's finally kick up our feet and put down our tent, and then we can take off our backpack too. And then we can get this fire built, set up, and get everything nice and cozy. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you bring matches or a lighter with you, otherwise you'll be doing what I did, and you'll be walking in and out of the forest multiple times, trying to remember where you put them. Well, that just about does it. The fire is rumbling, the wind is running through the trees, there's a lot of wildlife out here, but not any zombies, which is fantastic. We've kicked up our feet, had some food, and we're just taking it easy out here. The importance of the camping supplies are that if the RV does go out of commission, then we have a way of continuing on with our adventure, just in the worst possible case. Tomorrow we'll be heading off to a new town, and hopefully gathering some more military supplies. We can't stay with civilian gear for too long, otherwise it's going to get too difficult. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.